To all those people watching, I'd like to remind everyone that this video is not made for kids. It's for older fans and adults. Enjoy the fucking video! The little engines delighted taking visitors along their railway. When the sun is shining and the rails are dry, there's nothing better than a journey up the line. Even Sir Handel and Duncan can't help but be cheerful. Early one morning, Scar Lovey was pulling the first train of the day. He was passing through the woods when he heard something strange. It started as a low hum, but quickly turned into a spluttering racket. Birds flew frantically from the trees, and deer scattered in all directions. Some looked across the line. Ooh! He cried, Look out! His driver slammed on the brakes. Scar Lowey lurched to a halt. The coaches clanged, giving the passengers a fright. The deer pranced past and disappeared. While the guard checked on the passengers, the driver inspected Scar Lowey. What on earth was that? he asked. Can't be sure, old boy, the driver sighed as he finished. But I have a hunch. Scar Lowey continued cautiously up the line. Soon he left the shelter of the forest and the humming and spluttering returned. Scar Lowey looked up. Flying through the sky was a brightly coloured biplane. Seems my hunch was correct, grunted the driver. Scar Lowey wasn't sure what to think. Who could that be? Tiger Moth, fumed Sir Handel in the sheds. Gordon told me all about him. Great flying nuisance he is. Nothing but noise and racket. He's not the only one making nothing but noise and racket, Peter Sam said with a wink. Ha! snorted Sir Handel. You won't be laughing when he takes your passengers away. He's not got the room to take all our passengers, Rhineus replied. Maybe so, grunted Duncan. But Scar Louis had a close call because of him. Rory, he's engine like that. He's as sure he is. Scar Louis was silent. I've never heard a plane make a noise like that, he thought. What if he's ill? The next day, Scar Lowey was travelling up the line once more. He took no notice of the blue skies and warm sun. Instead, he was listening for Tiger Moth. As he neared the lake station, it happened. A mighty coughing rung out through the air. There was Tiger Moth billowing smoke and beginning to descend. He's going to crash, cried Scar Lowey. Tiger Moth disappeared behind a hill the sound of his engine fading. We have to help, said Scar Lowey. He hurried to the lake station and left the coaches. Luckily a doctor was on the train. He scrambled into the guard's van and Scar Lowey raced down the line of pursuit of Tiger Moth. It didn't take long to find him. There, cried the fireman. In a field engulfed in his own exhaust was Tiger Moth. Scar Lowey drew alongside and the doctor rushed towards the plane. Thankfully, the pilot wasn't hurt, but Tiger Moth wore a downcast look. I'm sorry to have been a bother, he sighed. Seems that's the only thing I could do right. Scar Lowey smiled warmly. Nonsense. We were worried about you. I thought you sounded unwell the other day. Yes, Tiger Moth replied. I am unwell. My engine's been in a bad way for a while now. Surely your owner could have you fixed. Tiger Moth sighed. Mr. Top has been so focused on his fare recently, he doesn't have time to fuss over an O-plane like me. He probably doesn't even know I'm unwell. Scar Lowey thought for a moment. Then he grinned. We don't need him to fix you, because I know someone who can. Tiger Moth was confused and watched as Scar Lowey hurried away. At the lake station, the driver telephoned the fat controller and explained. I'll attend to the matter at once, bellowed the fat controller. It wasn't long before Scar Lowey was bringing his passengers back down the line. As he neared the field, he smiled. There was Tiger Moth, with Rusty and some engineers close by. Scar Lowey whistled. You're looking better already, he called, and I expect you'll steer that way. The fat controller's going to have a few words with Mr. Topper. Tiger Moth beamed. Thank you, Scar Lowey. The fat controller did have some stern words for Harry Topper. 
He promised to keep Tiger Moth in tip-top shape from that point on. When he next went flying, Tiger Moth was carrying a special banner that read, Visit the Scarlowy Railway. It's my special way of saying thank you, he called from above. Scarlowy whistles gaily whenever he sees Tiger Moth, just to make a little noise and racket for his new friend.